a lot. Mm. Okay, just a commanding shout to send the team forward. I think yep. in Meow to the Windstone. Yep, uh, it looks like both these teams are pretty comfortable on this. Uh, the, oddly enough, uh, so I think the Outlaws are better at this composition, but does it somewhat favor the Gladiators that they've played this all series and they've looked pretty good on it today? Uh, I mean, it, it doesn't... Uh, 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 oh, the he had his translocator destroyed, yeah. That'll do it. That's pretty crucial. Uh, Johnny, you saw something incredible. You you picked up some mind games for us. Would you please walk us through those? Yeah, I saw a nice little moment. So did Jake. He was very quick to mention that he also saw it. So <laughs> we, we noticed a little moment here at the start of Colosseum. Maybe you noticed it at home too, but I'm going to point it out for you that didn't see it. So, uh, I mean, we're obviously playing the same composition that we always do. It's uh, Tracer Sombra, right? Uh, for both teams here, they're both going to play Tracer Sombra. And this was what they played throughout pretty much the entire series. Now, you know, you got two Sombras that are invisible, walking around, navigating around the map. We can just see how that plays out at the very start of Colosseo. So Yaki here, rotating towards the Houston Outlaws spawns. We can play this one out and we can see, uh, you know, he's doing a little bit of scouting. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a translocator right here. Look mm -hmm. at this. Wow. Cheers. Hey, <laughs> hey, teammates. I, I just found a translocator. So if you find the other Sombra, I can kill this translocator and we can win the first fight by p killing Pelican. All right, let's jump over to Pelican's POV and see what's going on here. So, you know, okay, you found the translocator. Great job, Yaki. Wait a minute. <gasps> Wait no. a minute. Pelican rotates around the other side and he says, guys, I found a translocator. <laughs> so if you guys find Yaki, then I can kill Yaki's translocator and we can find him. No, actually, hold on a minute. Pelican, he is so smart that he knows that Yaki's translocator is here, which probably means that Yaki found Pelican's translocator. So he's communicating to his team, jump to my translocator so we can play this one out. And you can see that Houston Outlaws, they're not like looking around to see their back line. Instead, we can pause this one as fearless you know, we can go ahead a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Pause. Uh -oh. Fearless Hello. is already here before Hello. he's killed the translocator. Pelican has already communicated to his team where Yaki is before he's even done anything to show himself. So they're going to kill Yaki's translocator. You can play it out. Fearless is already here before Yaki has even touched Pelican's translocator. And they're that good at communicating. They're that good at mind games. And Yaki goes down here in the very first fight because Pelican and the Houston Outlaws, they are so smart. They just know where Yaki is without him revealing himself. So small little detail, but I thought that was so smart from Pelican and the rest of the Outlaws, <laughs> knowing where Yaki would be. It's such a mom's like, haha, I'll find the translocator, <laughs> alas. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> it's funny, but in the somber meadows, man, like late in the meta when people have really practiced and played it and, and know the playstyle really well, that was kind of what we always see developing a Sombra meta, where the Sombras end up hunting each other's TPs for like half the game, because it's potential for like that free pick to open up the fight. Um, it sort of can be a challenge, because if neither Sombra gets caught, the one who's farming is going to get ahead on EMP, so there's a lot of mind games to it, but uh, it is cool to see that coordination aspect from the allies, the gambling, knowing each other. Chris so just well. went, you just like, Okay, oh. Pelican, I go. <laughs> I go, it. I trust you. I there was, there was. It was you say no more, it. hold my cannon, whatever his gun is Tesla called. Cannon. What is it? Tesla cannon. I was close enough. There we go. I started things off, uh, or I want to start things off with my personal best of the day, which is Johnny. Actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, what? That's right. Uh, the Snowden Academy. Whoa. I just thought that was such a neat, nifty play and insight. Something which, that's right. you know, a filthy casual like me, I wouldn't have picked up on that. So for you to point that out, Jake, of course, also co pointed it out uh, in the back. But I. Uh, I I just thought that was that was really neat, and I love the ability for us to have illustrations uh, and be able to like break it down and just shed some insight, which you know, a lot of that beautiful plays, uh, those beautiful plays, they get they get missed out, lost in the sauce. There's a lot of action going on on the server. Not so. with Johnny on the case. Not with Johnny on the case. Snowden Academy. <laughs> Sign up for my academy sometime. <laughs> Great job. In the off season, sign up. Great job.